springtime. That means hustle and bustle for farmers. And for one species at risk, the wood turtle, it means waking up from their underwater winter home. In early spring, wood turtles spend their time in rivers and streams, feeding on nutritious foods like snails and insect larvae. Nearby, they balance their temperature by basking in sunny spots, followed by a swim. As temperatures rise, wood turtles look for mates in the water and then move to land, where females bury eggs in the same gravelly area as she did last year, hiding her tracks as she goes. For males and females alike, the midsummer brings danger. After feeding in wooded areas, wood turtles wander on farm fields to find some of their favorite foods. Here they run the risk of being hit by farm equipment and occasionally have to cross roads. For farmers concerned about the well-being of wood turtles, actions can be taken. Staying back from the water's edge is number one. Leaving a buffer around wood turtle streams gives them less reason to enter fields. Raising mower blades also helps avoid hitting and killing wood turtles, which happens to be illegal in Nova Scotia, as they're protected by law. Wood turtles are a long-lived species and can't reproduce until 11 to 20 years old. Living to have babies is critical for their survival as a species. As autumn approaches and farm activities slow down, wood turtles stay closer to the water and may even mate again. With the first frosts, they take their last breath of the year and head for deep pools in the water. Wood turtles are protected in Nova Scotia, and if we don't all do our part to help, they're at risk of extinction. To find out how you can help, visit farmbiodiversity.ca.